Hello everyone, welcome to the first weekly vlog in 2024. This video starts on the Saturday and runs through Friday. I've attended a conference for the first time over the weekend, and I'll take you through the rest of the week where I continued my internship and I'll show you other fun events that I went to. Good morning everyone. I just got ready and uh, I'm, I will now be heading to the WISE conference. There will be breakfast there. That's one last thing to worry about this morning. I went to the Women in Science and Engineering conference this weekend. Today's keynote speaker, Dr. Livieri, shared her resilience when facing academic bullying and silencing as a whistleblower in the pharmaceutical industry. After the speech, I immediately headed to Varsity Arena for my skating class. Today is also the first skating lesson that I registered at UFT. I learned how to skate in high school, but I haven't been on the ice during the pandemic. I just finished my first skating lesson and now I can stop with my left foot. Now I'm gonna change out of my skates and uh, head back to the conference. In this class, I'm hoping to pick up some of the techniques that I learned earlier and uh, hopefully I can learn a few new techniques to make skating more interesting than simply gliding forward. The fireside chat in the evening invited three panelists with a diverse background in academia and industry. They shared the importance of mentorship and uh, encouraged us to pursue our career interests and be ready to step outside of the current field when a new field truly interests you. Today is the second day of the WISE conference. I picked up a different flavor muffin and poured myself a cup of coffee. Then I headed into the main room for the keynote speech. Sarah Baldio talked about the idea of using cognitive reasoning to delegate the fear and stress from our fight or flight response. Compared to yesterday's keynote, I think today's talk is more relatable to university students. I attended a workshop called I Am Remarkable. The idea is that it is worthwhile to acknowledge one's accomplishments in front of your peers. Overall, I think the WISE conference is a very good opportunity for female university students to meet others within science and engineering and navigate the diverse landscape within STEM. I got this pretzel bun on Friday after work and uh, it is matcha and fig. The word on the internet is that this type of bread tastes very different from toast and bagels and uh, I've never tried pretzel buns before so I'm gonna give this a try today. On Mondays, I usually work from home. After work, I quickly had dinner and headed back to school to attend a lecture on computer security. I really enjoyed the first few lectures. We talked about some unusual ways for hackers to jeopardize data integrity and to access the stack region through buffer overflow. Today, I found a new recipe for roasting chicken legs. I first marinated the chicken legs with salt and pepper, then covered everything with barbecue powder and olive oil. I tried putting in a lot of tomatoes before roasting. They gave the chicken legs some extra refreshing flavor. Today I have to go to the office and uh, it is so foggy outside. After work, I went on to grocery shopping. I picked up two boxes of instant oats for breakfast and a lily bouquet. I almost forgot my original purpose of coming to shoppers today is to get this dishwasher rinse aid. I'm so lucky today, everything I want is on sale. Obviously, this is too long for my face. So I think I'm gonna cut until here. On the last two work days this week, I chose to work from home and skipped my drop-in workout session because I wasn't feeling really well. On top of that, I realized winter blue really hits me hard this year. In the past few years, I didn't really feel any winter blue symptoms that others were talking about, but this year, all of these symptoms are coming to me. I did buy a therapy lamp last week, but after two days, I don't think it helped me anymore. Hopefully, hopefully everything will be better in March, and uh, in the meantime, I'll keep searching for interesting events to give myself something to look forward to in this long and dark winter. Uh, this one is for lunch today, and this one is for lunch tomorrow. This one is for dinner tonight. This one might be for dinner tomorrow night. Friday is always a good day to celebrate the end of a work week and uh, wind down for the weekend. 
I made three servings of chicken curry. I saved two servings for the weekend. That's it everyone, thank you for watching and uh, hope you have a great week yourself.